Hi friends, how are you doing? I've missed you so much. Today I thought I would give you a new craft. I learned that in early spring, some frogs come out of hibernation. The first thing you'll need is a tube. You might have a paper tube. You might have an index card. You might have a piece of cardboard or even an old greeting card. The other thing you could use, in case you don't have any of those, is a can. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need something to either glue, tape, or staple with. Any of those will work just fine. You'll need something to mark with. You'll need a straight edge, either a ruler or an edge of a book works really well. Some optional items could be a cap of some sort to draw some circles with, some construction paper, markers, paint, whatever you like to use to create. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about our tube. What you'll either need to do is you'll need to either color, paint or cover a cardboard tube or create your own cardboard tube. I'm gonna show you how to do it with this greeting card. All you need to do is roll it into a tube and secure it somehow. I'm gonna use my stapler. I think that I'll use my paper tube here and I will cover it with paper. So the way you do that is you're gonna take your paper you're gonna put your tube on the edge of it and you're going to mark it right here. We're at the top. You'll roll your tube down quite a ways until you've made a long rectangle. Once you've done that, you'll cut out your rectangle. I've already done that here. What I'll do next is I will just roll this on top of my cardboard tube and then secure it. Go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here in just a minute. Welcome back. I hope you had fun decorating your tube or coloring it or painting it. Here you can see that I've covered mine. The next step will be to make the legs. What you will need to do is you'll need to either use a ruler, or the edge of a book as a straight edge. And you're going to make two long strips that are about twice the length of your tube. So you can see that this paper is about twice the length. What you will do is you will put your straight edge at the edge of your paper, draw a line, it's up to you how thick or thin it is, and it doesn't have to be perfect. After you've done that, you need to use some type of paper. It could be the same color, it could be a different color, and make two circles. You can freehand them, or you can use something to trace it. It's just a guide to help you when you're cutting. Next cut out these pieces and I'll show you how to assemble your frog. I've cut out my legs and my eyes and now we'll assemble. The first thing you wanna do is decide how you would like your pupils in your frog. You could make long skinny ones or you could make traditional circle ones, whatever you like. Then you're going to take your leg and you are going to bend a little bit up. That's gonna be the foot. On both sides, bend it a little bit up. Then you're going to put a little bit of glue or you can use tape or a stapler and you're gonna bend your legs over just like that. Bend your legs over. Now these legs are gonna go on either side of your frog. So you can put some glue or some tape on the edge of your tube, add your leg. 
Now I learned something a long time ago that works really well when you're gluing on an uneven surface. If you use some kind of clip, sometimes a um, clothespin works really well, or a chip clip or something of that nature when you're using glue sticks, it helps hold it for a minute. Helps make it stick and keeps it there so it will stay. So once your legs are dry, you have part of your frog. The next step is to take your eyeballs and glue those on. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. Hi friends, your frog should look something like this. What I did also was make a mouth. You can make any kind of mouth you want. It could be a circle, it could be just a line. Now you're going to make a tongue. You'll need another piece of paper. It can be the same color or a different color and a straight edge. The longer you make your paper, the longer your tongue will be. You want to make this thinner than your legs, but it can be any size. Take your scissors and cut it out. To make this tongue magic, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it up with a pencil. This will make it nice and curly, kind of like it's catching a fly. Pull it off and let it go. Next, you're going to add a little bit of glue onto that mouth and stick your tongue on. Nice job. You can add patterns with markers or you can leave it the way it is. I found these little stickers and I thought it would be fun to add some of these to my frog. Now remember, frogs come in all different colors depending on where you live. Where I live, I mostly see green and brown frogs or toads, but you might see other types of frogs in different parts of the country. Nice job. I wanted to share with you my different frogs. Here's one that was made out of cardstock. Here's one that was colored with markers. Here's one that was made out of an old soda water container. And here's the one I was working on with you. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Brain Breaks. I'll see you next time. Bye.